Welcome to my world with Nat, Relocation Concierge, and I'm so happy to have Joanne back with me today. We chose a quieter location because the last video, yeah, the last video was, was a little was. noisy. We fully admit it. It was noisy. Because, because we were in Bagamundo. Bagamundo yeah. is one of the crowdest places in Cabaret. It's a hot place and to be. It's a hot place. And it's amazing when you're working and all the stuff, but when you're creating interviewing. videos, interviewing. It's not kind of, a good place. No. So we're in our my humble <clears> abode <throat> here in the beautiful Casa Linda. And today we really wanted to tackle a couple of things. The first thing would be about working in the Dominican um, business in the Dominican, what does that look like? So as an expat, right, we've arrived here approximately a year ago now. Mm. It's our anniversary soon. Oh, uh, what April, are you going to do? April, I don't know. <laughs> we might have to have a party. Um, you know, we came here with our own online businesses, mm. which is the ideal, I think. If you're coming as an expat, you probably should have some kind of income coming no, with you. obviously, and if you're a professional and you get the opportunity to work remotely uh, during the pandemic, and if you stick with your work or have yeah. other ventures on that, that will be amazing if you're stick with that kind of uh, uh, structure. In my case, uh, I just had the same. I, yeah. mean, I worked remotely during the pandemic. I'm still working remotely and have my own clients. And, and when you are in that way, like a nomad, you can yeah. leave like literally everywhere in the country but with several uh, things uh, to consider, not in not every place you can work in peace or have the <laughs> yeah or have your basics around. And and, and by basics, I'm saying like a basic internet, yeah, and basics, twenty four seven electricity, all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's not the same as the south side of the island than in Punta Cana or uh, working in Cabrera or working in Terrenas, which is by the way, this is that's the top. I, I read about it. Top 10 place to live in the fucking world. <laughs> it is, it is. So, I mean, obviously the internet is a, is a key factor, right? Anywhere you go now. And I think for the most part, where we have lived, um, we've always had good connections. We actually bought mm. the pods to kind of boost our signal to make sure that it was strong enough in all the areas. Because all the homes are made of concrete, so yeah. the signal doesn't always go through. But if you are thinking of doing a relocation and you're not sure about work and what are you going to do, I think we want to kind of take the myth down that you can just come down here and find work. And I think yeah. that that is really important to understand that you are coming to a new country. You are coming to try it out. Maybe maybe you're deciding to stay here longer. Um, the expectation of finding a job mm -hmm. is pretty low. It's pretty low. Uh well, let's start with the working remotely. Uh, yeah. And DR is in kind of the place where you can think and find of uh, work for home or working remotely options, because it's, it's still with the Latin American uh, culture of doing t t uh, going to the work, uh, having a, a job in the office, and stick it out with a, a eight to five, nine to five timing yeah. kind of aspect. So. It's a uh, it's a little bit confusing to get some uh, work from home uh, options. So again, as you said, you, if you're coming to the DR, you better have a coming with your own working on. Have an option, yeah. yeah. And secondly, uh, <clears throat> if you want to work in the country, uh, there's a new set of rules that the government just made, and it's kind of complicated right now. If you're <laughs> yeah. It's getting complicated for... I don't think it's ever simple when it comes to government. No, <laughs> not at all. And if you want to really find a job in the yard, so you must be now as, as a resident instead of expat. And so it's yeah. got to be complicated for you to handle that. So if, if you want to find a job, don't go to that direction and instead come with, with your work from home or your remote job as it. Yeah, Absolutely. And I think that that really puts a focus on that the people here who are living here, the Dominicans that are here that are working, they're just like I think back home, um, there are multiple levels of work, everything from the big office jobs in, in the big corporate, cities, yeah. the corporate, all the way to that local farmer that you and I go and buy our lemons and our mangoes and we fawn over how fresh everything <laughs> is. But that produce that they have is their livelihood. Yeah, and, and, and 
again, uh, the DR, the majority of Dominicans uh, live uh, as independent or trying to earn their stuff independently. Uh, yeah. So if you're uh, looking for a farmer or go to a farmer's uh, market, you try to support those people because at the yeah. end, that's a, a way of living. That's the only way that they can survive. Yeah. And um, I don't negotiate prices in my case. I, if I wanted to buy like some produce of some yeah. vegetables and, and fruits, uh, I already have established a budget, which is very affordable in the country compared to other parts of the world. And um, I do have like a weekly options for food and yeah, yeah. It's, it's very simple. And pay them directly and don't try to negotiate it out. Yeah, you can negotiate in several options instead. Like, uh, for example, instead of uh, pounds of lemons, yeah, you can say half a pound or two or three lemons and they will, it will cost you like a pennies for, for that. Yeah. Uh, um, and those, and, and I, and I love, I love that I can stop on the side of the road Yeah. and just pick up four or five it's mangoes. For Watermelon, <laughs> you know. Uh, there's a guy here that holds fish up every day. Mm -hmm. Shrimps. I don't know that I would buy those shrimps that were hanging on the string yeah, for, here, for hours, here, though. Here in the main road and in the North Coast, is kind of fantastic because when you start, if you start in Puerto Plata and you finish in Samana, <laughs> you will find lots of options. You can you. pick up dinner yeah. on your way. Yeah. You can pick up your food on the way. Yeah. And for the most part, I think it's very affordable. Mm-hmm. It's not, uh, and and I think the quality too, you know, the freshness of what the, we're getting here is so much different than what we experience in Canada. Because obviously, a pineapple here is nothing like what we had yeah. back home. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, if you are wondering about working in the DR and you have questions, I'm sure Joanne will be able to help us. Drop them in the comments so that we can answer those pressing questions. That is part of the goal of these videos is that... They not just be entertaining, but informative, informative as well. And at the end of the day, you want information. And if you want yeah. to really uh, move to the country, you really must be aware of what are the changes that are happening right now. Well, what actually, it's very What your fast. options are. Yeah, the, uh, the options are plenty. But the thing is that things are changing so fast yeah. over these years that uh, what was in the... 2021 and 2022 doesn't work so yeah <laughs> you got to I think and I think that's happening pretty much everywhere mm -hmm. so drop your comments in the world if you are looking to relocate and you just have don't even know where to start let's have a conversation book a call so we can figure out what package will work best for you um, in your transition for you and your family find you the best accommodation in the best town so you can live your best life Whatever you choose to do today, have an incredible day, and I'll see you in the next clip. Yeah. Bye for now. Bye.